Hello Mini Nukes and welcome back to Death Stranding. So in the last episode we met Lochner, which happens to be Mama's twin sister and she doesn't like us very much, but we have to we have to befriend her I guess, um, because she can help us with the, the Cupid that we're having problems with because it's doing things that might mean that we we will blow up basically <laughs> so um yeah we're gonna do that uh find a way detected. to change lock this way okay will be locked until departure so we're ready clear. welcome sam porter bridges thank you take any to access to things probably orders or is there other other orders no there aren't any orders there are no orders so what do i do private locker what am i doing Oh yeah, am I going outside? Wait. Beginning scan. I don't remember. Have a pleasant journey. Do I need to go outside first? Um. Didn't. Oh, what the hell did I just do? What did I do? Oh, there we go. Um, I forget what I'm meant to. What am I meant to do again? Didn't didn't um wait. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So I just. Oh, interesting place. What's all this? I need to find a way to change her mind, but how? Didn't... Didn't Die Hardman want to speak to me? Frankly, I don't remember. Okay, so I just checked what was said at the end of my last episode. And basically, I... I whatever ideas I have, I have to come up with myself to try and figure out how to change her mind. And my first initial thought was to go back to Mama and talk to her, so that might be what I need to do. Um... But, you know, <laughs> um, it's kind of a long way to go back. <laughs> it's such a long way. Oh, there must be an easy way to go down the mountain instead of doing this giant ass detour. Because I want to get to here. But how do I get to here without having to go back and... Maybe I can... Uh... There's an online safe house. Can I... Can I do the, um... Uh, the fragile jump? Maybe I can do that. I can do the fragile jump. I know I've got stuff on me, but that's okay, I suppose, if I leave it there, because then I can go back there, pick up my stuff, and then... And then, yeah, everything's fine and dandy, so I guess I'll try that. Which means I need to get back to my vehicle. But that, that means I might have to go through my territory, which I'd rather not do, but you know, whatever. Where is my truck? Um. Oh yeah, it's right there, okay. It's kind of shitty, I have to go all the way back. Oh, piss. Oh, it's just snow. It's snowfall instead of timefall. Timefall snow. <laughs> timefall snow will drastically accelerate the passage of time for anything it touches, just like ordinary timefall. Cargo containers will deteriorate if they come into contact. Okay. So, that's fun. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, so... Why am I on such a weird incline here? Okay, so I'm just following this road back, right? Well, that's that's the road I, I, I took. I think. Oh yeah, I went back this way, didn't I? Yeah. I hope I don't run into any- oh, now it's rain. <laughs> any snow beaties. You are having a giggle. 
<laughs> you're having a giggle. <laughs> um, I don't know what that laugh was. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, I just, I don't want to be in the time. Please. Okay, there's none here. So if I can just get from there to there, that'd be great. Because then I just go through that time wall. I don't want to be eaten. <laughs> I don't want to. Can I? Oh yeah, I need to. There we go. Let's just... I don't want to be eaten. Oh, look at how horrible this looks. Maybe I can go down this way. Oh, whoops. Why am I on a few wheels and not all four? That's not what I wanted, but okay. Maybe I can go up this way. Don't tell me it's gonna get me stuck again. <laughs> no, that's okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm trying to reverse here. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go that way. So. I can go that way. Okay. Can I just go? Nope. I hate the steering on this thing so much. Truck's battery's almost around. Really? That quick, huh? You know what? That's okay. It's not the end of the world, to be honest. I can just leave it behind and go on foot, to be honest. I really don't care at this point. Unless there's a generator nearby. There is one there! <laughs> um. That looks like the road. There we go. Yes, I know. I know, Sam. we might get to this generator in time, I have no idea. Where is the generator, actually? Oh, here we go with the time fall. <clears throat> Where is the generator? Oh, I'm not that far from it. Fudge. Fudge sickles. <laughs> um... I mean, I guess it's not the worst if I just leave it behind, but then I'm gonna have to do all of this by myself. Oh no, I don't have to. If I can do the, if I can do the jump, then I guess it won't matter if my, if my, uh, my truck dies. Oh, I'm connected now. People think bridges are terrace. That's fun. I hate that music. It's probably gonna run out of juice. That's okay. That's fine. It can die if it wants. Yeah, out of juice. That's okay. Oh, look, it's still moving though. <laughs> Okay. Why does it keep doing that? That's really strange. Well, truck, you've been good to me and sometimes bad to me, but I appreciate it, so I'm gonna say goodbye now. Have a good life. I'm going this way, right? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can only assume that I have to go back to Mama and, and find out um, what I need to do. Or find out some information about what happened between the two. 
I feel like if anything she'd be more willing to share, so. So yeah. Excuse me? I'm telling you I, s I slipped on some mud. <laughs> Look at that. I could put my vehicle in there if I wanted. Today's a good day. Yes. Oh, it's so a level three. Okay. So. Can I go in the private room then? Garage. Fab oh, I can fabricate stuff. Can I? No, I, I don't have the materials for it. Of course I don't. <laughs> Wait, it's all greyed out. Why is it all greyed out? Is it because I have no materials on me? Oh no. Okay, so that needs 40 metals and 32 resins, which I probably could find in the area if I wanted to fabricate another. Um, well, let's just scan the area, I guess. If there's anything in the vicinity. There's re oh, there's resins. Where's the metals though? I need metals. Smoke grenade. Oh wait, no, that's from one of the, uh, the mules, isn't it? Well, those are resin, so how deep is this? Maybe I shouldn't bother, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Just to be on the safe side. That's okay, I can just, yeah, fabricate one another time. Let's go in. Let's go in the private room. Your work is great. Thank you. I don't know if I can do the jump in um, in t shelters, temporary shelters. So, well, it's not really a temporary. Well, it is temporary, I guess, but... Because that'd be the, the easiest thing for me to do. Thanks for taking my blood. I appreciate it. Good morning, Sam. Thank you. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Mm. Oh, mail received from the car. Married life, not what I expected. But we already read this in the Ah, there's the fragile jump. So, can I read it then? How do I read it? Is that a terminal? Is that how I read it? I might as well do some reading, I guess. Some light reading. <laughs> um, mail. What was it mail? Yes. Let's see. Dear Sam, did you meet up with Amelie yet? I hope she lives up to your memory of her when you finally do. I didn't get so lucky in that respect. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't live with him anymore. I went back to my mom's. It was terrifying, making the trip on my own, but I watched the weather patterns for days and made it just barely. Maybe I should have asked for help, but I couldn't bear to wait any longer. For your sake, I hope yours and Amelie's story has a happier ending. <laughs> she seemed so in love with him at first, and now it's just gone completely down downhill. Oh, would you speak to Mama for me? Good news, Sam. That antimatter bomb should stop the tar from spreading. Thanks for you, that really saved our bacon. <laughs> I wasn't able to connect the cupid though. Lochner stepped in to stop me. She might not be in bridges anymore, but she still calls the shots around here. Wasn't much I could do after that. It's not like I could ignore her. You know, she's changed a lot ever since Mama got caught up in all that terrorism stuff. Stands to reason, of course, what with their relationship. Still, even if it's not my place, I gotta ask, could you go and talk to Mama about it? I've got a feeling they could patch things up if they just started speaking to each other again. If you do decide to go, check your private locker. I left you some extra supplies. Should help you get to Mama's lab safe and sound. Thanks again, Sam. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I could have checked the private locker, but whoops. I was going to, actually, to be honest, just in case, but... Um, yeah. I don't always check my mail, so... 
Whoops, that's okay. Uh, I'll see if this fragile jump thing works anyway, so. Recovery requests, resources scattered by the... Okay. Sam, I heard you were at Mama's place. Well, I've got a request for you, direct from Bridges. There's some cargo, rare materials that got swept up in the supercell and ended up at the bottom of a waterfall, northwest of South Knot. We need you to track it down and get it back to the city. Check Mama's terminal for the official order. By the way, we've received eyewitness reports of a small glowing object somewhere in the vicinity. Retrieving it's not part of the order, but I thought you might be interested regardless. Hate to hit you uh, hate to hit you, uh, I can't speak. <laughs> hate to hit you up directly, but we can't really we can't leave that, that cargo sitting there forever. And you're the best and only man for the job. A lot of people are counting on you. Well, that just puts pressure. <laughs> that puts pressure on me. Um, you sure have used the order hood? That order hood I made for you is pretty special. I know because I tested it out myself. I'm putting it on. You transform into an otter, and I'm not just talking about your appearance. You literally become one with the water. What? Did you notice that I even put a Bridges logo on it for you? That's proof that no one else has done anything like it. I'm so happy that I'm able to help support your work. Us humans should strive to live in harmony with nature. We won't survive for long if we're always fighting against it. We need to go with nature's flow. Surrender ourselves to the nat natural ru ru rhythms, <laughs> rhythms of the world. That's what I think anyway. That's why I got into cosplay. I wanted to lose myself and a character, let the character take over. Some people think it's just an excuse to wear fancy clothes, but they're missing the point. It's an art, the art of transformation. We should all embrace our place in the world. There was a time when I tried to stay, tried to stay apart from it all, but after meeting my beloved, my eyes have been opened. And that's why I've decided I'm going to sign a contract with Bridges and see where, where that takes me. Oh, interesting. Oh, is this the same one? Have you used your order hood? Oh, yeah. oh this is so much to read! <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I can read that in editing, but this is a lot to read. Um, okay, so I'll put the hood on and see what that does, because apparently that does something. Delivery from- oh gosh, there's so many things! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I keep forgetting to read this in my spare time, but you know. <laughs> I hear you, BB. Okay, so I need to put that on. See what that does. Um, yeah. Likes received, nice. Likes received from the cosplay. <laughs> Why are you winking at me? <laughs> I need to. I need to get more into doing cosplay. I've only done the two, which was me and my. Vault Dweller suit and um, Sam Drake from Uncharted 4 that I went to Comic Con as. And I really need to get more into it because I do really like it a lot, but it's very. Uh, there's a lot of effort that goes into it, you know, finding the right stuff. It can be quite expensive, but um, I'd like to do more of it when that's feasibly possible, so yeah. Um, so I guess we'll try the jump. Never done this before. Oh, I can go to the safe houses as well, that's sweet. Okay, this is- there's a- where's the near- the nearest safe house? So, that's the one I'm at. That's fine. There's one there which is not far from a lab at all, so I could just go there. Oh wait, where's- oh no, I could just- oh, obviously I could just go to South Knot, can't I? Yeah, of course I can. Idiot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. I know I've got stuff on me, but that's okay, because we're, we're obviously going to go back to where, um, to, uh, yeah, to here, to Mountain Knot City. So, that's fine if we leave our stuff there, we can just collect it when we come back. So, yes, all currently carried cargo will be placed in this facility's private locker. Are you sure you want to? Yes. Yes, I do. Ready to take the plunge? Ooh. So, the only things you can bring with you is yourself. Yes. And maybe a few other trinkets that are really important to you. Okay, close your eyes. Picture your destination. Hold it in your mind. It's interesting. Huh. 
Oh gosh, is snow harder to walk through? I mean, that makes sense. Is it? It is snow. I'll be careful not to fall asleep in the snow. You might not wake up. What? <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm assuming from the uh, from the mail that we received, talking to Mama is our only option. Of toxemia. What, for BB? Is that what he means? I'm gonna sneeze. Oh gosh. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Oh gosh, that is a lot. Okay, how's it going, Sam? You you still taking care of your BB? I'm sure you are. Not like some porters I could mention. Some guys practically shake their pods till their BBs start crying. Oh, that's so mean. Some of them even ditch them when the crying becomes too much. Aww. Of course, a quiet BB isn't necessarily a good thing. Could mean the kid's suffering from autotoxemia. Man, the thought alone stresses me out. Okay. Um... It happened to me once, you see. I was out in BT territory and couldn't make it back to a private room in time. I could tell my BB needed time in an incubator, but I was too late. Autotoxemia is a terrible thing, Sam. He was just floating there in his pod. Wouldn't react no matter what I did. BBs can't detect BTs in the state, in that state either. Obviously. So even the most stone-cold porter would be sweating bullets. <laughs> Truth be told, though, I was more worried about BB than I was about myself. Screw the PR bullshit. They're not just equipment. I don't go saying that to just anyone, but I know you feel the same. If you ask me, a BB's no different from any other baby. Treat them with love and affection, and they'll react to you the same way they'd react to a parent. Sorry, I know I'm getting emotional, <laughs> but can you do me a favor? Try to make sure your BB never su suffers from autotoxemia, okay? If they do, take care of them and do whatever you can to make them feel better. we Will do, my dude. we Will do. Yeah. No, BB's too, too, too precious. <laughs> Thanks for the wink. Okay, let's just let's just drink some of this. I really want the monster back. I really do. <laughs> okay, good enough. <laughs> let's go. Yes, yeah, so I know I've got nothing on me, but that's fine. We're just going to Mama anyway. No big deal. It's nice to have barely anything on us. Scanning bridges ID. So nice. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Huh. I feel like a feather now. <laughs> okay. So she's just across there, that's fine. It's all good. I don't know why I did a big loop de loop there. So cute, baby. Have a pleasant journey. Be nice if we can borrow one of those. Really? Why is Bibi so happy? <laughs> Is it because I'm running? Oh, 
Wait, doesn't that belong over back there? I mean, yeah, I might as well pick it up. <sighs> Junk dealer, that's probably quite far away. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Maybe I should pick those up. Sam, thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was oh. able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. Ooh. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. Sounds like we're gonna need to be stealthy about this. These you know how much I love stealth. If you can get close enough without them noticing. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Cord snipping, super handcuffs. <laughs> right. Let's try them out. Oh no. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it, even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that 
I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. It's really sad. Sam. Oh, here we go. Would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine. So long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Goodness. I still don't get why we can't just why she can't just wear one of the same suits that Sam is. This is ridiculous. Clearly the material that they're using here is the same stuff. So why can't I just make a suit out of it? It's so stupid. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, so am I walking there? There's no way. Am I walking all the way there? No, 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 no. Okay. No. This is not fair. Do I have to? Do I really have to? Oh, excuse me. I just bang my controller. Um. There's no way. There's no.
I had a special surprise prepped in everything. Oh, piss. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> it's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. Oh, no. Get out alive is not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. Nope. Screw you, Hicks. I did the, the fragile jump, right? This is my bad, isn't it? Well, maybe I couldn't take anything with me because of um, Mama being on my back. Maybe that's it. I really don't get what I'm supposed to do here. Where are we running to? This thing has health, so what am I meant to do? I'm just running away. I don't know, I'm gonna YOLO it. Oh shit. Oh hell, oh hell. Oh hell. Get up, Sam, get up. I'm not entirely sure what's meant to be happen here. Phoebe looks happy. Oh, is that what I was supposed to do? Oh, I was just meant to run away. Like like I do with the other BT big whale thingies. <laughs> is that all I had to do? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's fun. It's real fun. Okay. How might how do you expect me to get all the way over here? I'm I'm sorry, but what I can't I can't do the fragile jump. Even though I'd like to. Can I? Can I please do the fragile jump? <laughs> can I get in a vehicle while mama's on my back? I don't know. Okay, I think Okay, I really need some supplies, that's for sure. Um, I can carry supplies on me, right? Um, maybe I can use the zip line to get back to, uh, to get back here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I definitely need some supplies, that's for sure. Medals, there's some medals. Yeah, Mama made this, didn't she? I'll give her some likes. Thanks for the help. <laughs> She's right on my back, she should say thank you. She should say you're welcome. <laughs> um yes. Yeah,
some troubles with that one. Whee! Gosh, that's so helpful. Okay, um... Okay, so yeah, we definitely need some supplies. I'm sure we can carry a few on our back. So... We'll need a few PCCs for sure. We want to build some zip lines, maybe. It would be nice if they could just make some more suits like Sam has. I mean, it's it's not hard. You've seen people carrying it around before. It's it's not that hard. Vehicles while Clear. I've got her though. That's what I want to know. Proceed to distribution center. I feel like a trike, maybe? A truck? I don't know about that. You can do it. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. Ooh, there's a trike. Welcome, Sam. Oh, someone just left it there. Maybe I'll use that. <laughs> Okay. Fabricate equipment. Yes, okay, so we're gonna need... What's the difference between level 2 again and level 1? What can I build with this again? Oh, an improvement. So it's the same thing. Of a wider variety. Okay, so we might as well take those. We could take two. Two of those. Yeah, okay. Could take maybe a ladder with us. One ladder. Climbing anchor, maybe. We're all good on that. Weapons. We're gonna need some weapons, maybe, right? Non lethal assault rifle, non lethal assault rifle, level two. This weapon is not only capable of firing chromatic rounds. But it also comes equipped with a dot sight for ease of aiming. Nice. Try it out. You'll soon see the difference. But if it uses my blood, I'd rather not. It is now capable of firing um, rubber hematic rounds. So that knocks him unconscious. But grr <laughs> anti BT handgun might come in useful. An anti BT handgun configured to fire hematic rounds loaded with your own blood. Mm -hmm. If this doesn't put the bastards down, I don't know what will. <laughs> when in use, the gun will fill its cartridges with blood drawn directly from your body or a bag if you have one. Okay. Longer trigger pulls will increase the amount of blood consumed with a given shot. More blood means more potential damage dealt to a BT. As always, though, it's up to you to decide how best to use it in the field. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I might need that. Maybe some grenades too, but they take up a lot. This weapon is not a- I don't need you to tell me any of that, I just wanted to read it. <laughs> but it also- try it out. Okay, so maybe I'll just take one of the handguns. Don't need any of those. Maybe I could just use the guy's <laughs> trike outside. Thematic grenades. I don't. I might be unequipped for this. I don't know. I really don't know. Because I don't know what dangers I'm going to come across. BTs, most likely. But. Should I take some grenades then? 
Sam, this is our first attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. Yep, thank you. I had to work fast, at least, who knows, but used to... Can just take one of those. Okay, I think we're, we're okay. Nothing else. Yes. Carry on back. Carry on back. Carry on back also? Backpack cargo limit reached. Oh, okay. No, I can't do that. Can I attach it to my suit? Yep. Attach the right shoulder. Place grenade and pouch, yes. So maybe I can take something else with me then. What's anything in the storage? What's that? Blood bag. Can I take that with me? Place an utility pouch. Sweet. I guess we're okay. I feel like maybe I should have something on my other shoulder since I'm out of... Uh, yeah, since... Well, I mean, it's not going to really unbalance me too much because I've got the power skeleton, but... Wait, what? Do I have the stuff on me now or not? Oh, I do. Okay, good. Ooh. I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, so maybe we'll fabricate one more thing. Since we've got the room. Can maybe make a ladder. Maybe. Or another gun. <laughs> I can't use the guns on BTs, can I? Apart from the anti-BT handgun. I guess it wouldn't hurt to make a ladder. But I haven't needed one in a while, so do I want one or not? Okay, maybe I should take another gun to take care of those BTs. BTs are mules, just in case there's mules along the way, so... Non-lethal assault rifle. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll take one of those. If I can make it, actually, because I, I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. Okay. But then they use my... They use my... Uh, they use my... Uh, mm. Okay, what about the... Uh, could use the bowler gun instead. Okay, this is non-lethal, so maybe I might want to use this one. Yes, maybe, yeah, this one for sure. Yes. Because it's non-lethal. And I don't want to use the one with my blood, I just want the regular one. Okay, yes, that's fine. Woo, okay. Hang on, tool rack. Oh, I can put on my tool rack. I forgot about the tool rack. Oh shit, maybe I should fabricate something else. Okay, no, I think we're good, we're good. We're fine, we're good. Just, we'll get something else along the way if we need to. Question is, can I use this? Oh, I wanted to use that. I can. So maybe I'll just steal this guy's bike. Beginning scan. Keep on keeping up. <laughs> She's <laughs> Can I wear my otter hood? I need to wear that, I forgot about that. A special hood lovingly handcrafted by the cosplayer. Become a, a stronger swimmer as a result. Only downside is that you may struggle to be taken seriously. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's put it on. Did I put it on? Oh yeah, I have, yeah, I can see it. It's right there. It's all dirty though. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, now... Oh, this is gonna suck. It's gonna suck big time. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's just do that for now. 
because we need to get to the weather station, don't we? Do we need to get to the weather station? Okay, well, we'll just go there to begin with and then uh, we'll see how things go. It'd be really convenient if we made some zip lines here. So maybe I should take a visit to the weather station and see what I can do about that. Cause that's like, that's so easy. I could just do it from there, but then I might have to go through there. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. <laughs> have a pleasant journey. Thank you. I will try my best. So maybe I could have taken her in a truck. That's not fun. That's someone's truck, right? Can I take him in the truck? I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, this is fine. <laughs> it made a little auto noise. That's so cute. your head. <laughs> she just went right through it. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Sorry. Sorry, Mama. Sorry. Piss. Don't forget about your cord cutters. Oh yeah, that's right. cord cutter exactly. Oh gosh, I hate this. You know what, YOLO. How do I use it? How do I use it? It's right here. How do I use it? I don't remember. I don't. How do I cut it? It's right here. How can I cut it? Okay, hold up. Um, <laughs> might be my data tips. Maybe in here somewhere. Um, controls, movement, stamina, battery, sc uh, scanner detector, mules, more mules, terrorist BTs, cutting a, that's it, when near BT press Square. So it was square, but um, I'm not close enough, I guess. I have to be really close. Oh. Nice. Okay, maybe now they'll leave me rest in pieces. <laughs> maybe now they'll leave me alone. Should be okay. 
Nope. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Sam, go, 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 go. Oh boy. Stamina decreased. Oh boy. Thanks. I appreciate that. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> Why did I take such a detour? What the hell? Oh, another truck. That's nice. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm really sorry. That's nice. That's cute. Oh, that's mule territory. Absolutely not. Why? Why is my health showing? That doesn't make me feel good. What do you mean stamina decreased? Oh shit. Am I going the right way now? Yes. That's not good. Okay. Here we go. from cargo. What do you mean? Losing cargo? If you abandon a piece of cargo by moving too far away from it, it will be considered lost and will be transported to another player's world. Any cargo not stored in a private locker can be lost. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it was that, that cargo that I picked up that I dropped because I was going to take Mama to the place, so I didn't take it with me. Shit. Shit, where are they? Okay. Maybe I should go to the weather station and see what I can do from up there. There must be a way I can go through the weather station. I've doomed myself from going this way, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I think I have. Hey there, Sam. What? The hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge. The uh, back. What can't you do? Oh, Sam, she's Still talking. Crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. Yeah. I know how that must sound considering our employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark, too. Oh boy. I don't sleep anymore. Damn. This is gonna be bumpy. The driving's a little better for me now for some reason. Maybe it's just because I haven't used the trike in a long time. Okay. There you go, speed demon. Hold on, Sam. Maybe that wasn't smart. There we go. Well, why she lifted up like that? <laughs> oh, 
How deep is this? And can I cross it? Get up there. Oh, bollocks. There's level station. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be PTs around here 100%. There have been before, there definitely will be, unless I. Can I go through there? There's a little gap there. Can I go through there? That'd be great if I could. Hello. You bastards. of you. Can I cut it please? I saw the option, it was right there. So much easier. Like to see from BT. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're giving me likes. This is hilarious. I love how they're giving me likes, this is hilarious. What can I pick up? What does it tell me, tell me to pick up? Oh, oh Carol Crystals, right. Okay, maybe I'm okay. Maybe I don't need to do it anymore. I got rid of most of them in that area, so maybe I can just drive on by. Are you holding up, Mama? Don't look too impressed. This might be suicide, but that's okay.
What do you mean? I don't see it. Where the hell is it? Phoebe, would you mind? Ah, right here. Too many of them. Where's my stamina decreased? It's okay. I'll take more uh, more energy drink. I just want to ride on through, please. Just let me ride through. about them. I just want to go forward. Is this time for we're gonna last? Okay, there's none right next to me though. Just drive to the side. the weather station. Can I go round it somehow? That'd be great. I don't know how I could possibly do that. Unless I go round somehow. There must be a way I can do this a lot quicker. There has to be... I hate this, I really hate this. <laughs> Unless I just go the long way, but I'd rather not, you know? Surely I can just go from there to there. Okay. 
might not even make it to uh, to where I need to go in this episode, but we'll see. Oh, hello. I see you. Okay, how close am I to their territory? Okay, very close. but I'm just gonna yellow it. Climb over it, please. Can I climb? Oh, I can't really. I can't climb over it. There we go. I'm so crouched. No wonder. Oh. Come on, Sam. You can get up that. That was weird. Sam, really? Is over there. Oh, BB, please. Make it in this episode, to be honest. Can I go through the snow, though? That's the thing. That's what I want to know. Or am I just wasting a considerable amount of time by just not going this the easy way? I don't know. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I just. That sounds kind of violent. I, I just want to do a shortcut somehow. If I can build some zip lines or something that will make it easier for everyone else, then that's great. Oh shit. I appreciate it. Maybe I am making it a lot worse for myself, but I really don't care. I just. I'd rather just go through that area there where the weather station is and just go the normal way. You won't know unless you try, will you now?
What does that take me, I wonder? Maybe I can go through there. This little pass right here. Maybe I can. Yeah, I'm sure we can. Do I want to go to the weather station first? So that's okay. See, it looks like I can go up there as well. Yeah. I'm sure we can. Strong, Sam. Is that another porter? They're porters! Yeah. Aww. Look at them. <laughs> so cute. go here so I can get some power back. Maybe get some more supplies. Hello. So cute. This one's for you. Hey, mine's heavier. Mine's heavier. It's great. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the party. Someone left their trike here, no way. There's no way I can get it up there, there's no way. What can I actually get here? I don't remember. Hmm. Do I want to take anything else? Should I take an extra PCC with me just in case? Yeah, I think I will. Wait, what happened to my other- wasn't I already carrying something on my- Oh, replace? No, I don't want to replace it. There we go. There. I think we're good. <sighs> Likes for that. There's no way I can use it up the thing. There's no way. But who knows? Maybe I can. <laughs> I wonder if that's like an out of bounds thing. I wonder if there is an out of bounds. If I can go up this way, that would be amazing. Okay, so far, so good. So, what can't you do? Fingers crossed, right? A little bumpy. Yeah, very bumpy. <laughs> Okay, I think maybe we'll make it this way. Maybe we will. I hope. Okay. I better hurry before my camera decides it wants to cut out on me right at the end of this episode again. Yeah, maybe snow won't be able to... Maybe I can't go through snow, but... <gasps> oh boy. No BTs. How are we doing for time fall here? We're actually making this thing, which is actually amazing, so yeah, I I didn't think it was possible to go up here, but we're doing good. Yeah, here we go. I'm really tempted to YOLO this just down the hill. <laughs> down the hill? It's a mountain. <laughs> I think hill is an understatement. <laughs> I'm really tempted to just YOLO it.
I mean, look at it. I think I very much did it if I wanted. Okay, where? Where is it? Stop telling me. Oh gosh, I forgot how shitty the snow is. <sighs> I think I'd rather just yellow it to be honest. I'm so close now, I might as well. Plus the snow really takes out my, uh, my stamina. Okay, we're yellowing this. Oh, cool, I can see. Oh, is that it? Is that the only BT area we went to? Well, that's fine by me. Yeah, I didn't I honestly didn't think this trike would be able to make it up here, but it did. Do you remember your own birthday? Still got inside the room. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers and Lockness. Interesting. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. Then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. <clears throat> we were still one. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body, joined in spirit. We had a beach just for us, and we share our own private chiral network, you might say. With cupids, we can build one that lets everyone share what Lachlan and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up. I wonder if anyone's watching. Unite everyone. No matter how scattered or different. It'll make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people in the line. It would be a. Sorry, Mom, I don't mean to interrupt. Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm not around this. I didn't share. Share alike. Change the world. With Anna's help, I finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. That's because we're like 10 meters away. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. I feel whole again. You and me, sis. Me and you. I'm sorry, Lachna. What are you sorry for right here? Apologize in, in person. <laughs> Thank goodness we made it in one piece. I honestly didn't think we'd be able to make it in this episode. <laughs> so bad if we cut cut the uh, cut across the mountain with the shortcut. Please charge vehicle. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Okay, let's get this over and done with. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. 
so and that was we're gonna have a some kind of cutscene so yes yep delivering mama she's 55 kilograms <laughs> Oh shit, here we go. Oh, why is she playing dead? <laughs> Ring and oh. Well, oh, goodness, they are identical. to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Hawkman. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me. Oh, how, how much damage did she- 17% <laughs> I'm sorry, did she die? <laughs> Is it because she took 17% damage? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that distance. <laughs> we made it though. We're whole again. D did she just die? I don't- I'm so confused. I'm I'm so confused. Oh my gonna stop. I'm muy confused. <laughs> oh, okay. All that she or went she just through. Resting. I had no idea. I thought. I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose. That she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. The limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already.
She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her hall remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. I was crazy for thinking that she, 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 she was dead, you know? I thought I was crazy! <laughs> Turns out I wasn't, okay. So she did, so because she severed the bond with the baby, that was like the last bit of life that she had left. Stabilizer. That's a lot of stuff. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Hakna. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Your work is great. Okay, my camera's flashing at me. Oh boy. Please wrap this up. Please. <laughs> Someone else gonna talk to me now. It's Hartman gonna talk to me. Quicker, please. <laughs> My camera's flashing at me. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. Blood collection Good morning. complete. 
Thank, Thank you for you. your generosity. Okay, so looks like we're all good. That's fine. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna look at the terminal just to stop him from making faces and distracting me. Okay, so... I was right. I honestly thought I was being crazy for thinking that maybe Mama was dead somehow. But that makes sense now that she's severed the tie that she had with the baby then. I guess that was her last bit of life clinging on, so... Interesting. So yeah, that that is interesting. I'm, I'm sad about that, to be honest, because I really liked Mama, but it's... I guess it's fine because we have Lochner now, and she looks just like her, sounds just like her, so I guess she's like the replacement, but that kind of kind of sucks a little, but that's okay. So, so I was right, that's interesting. I honestly thought I was being crazy for thinking that maybe she was dead, but I guess not. <laughs> so yeah, um, this, this is good, this is good, we're, uh, we're progressing again even more, so I'm, I'm glad we managed to make it to, um, to where we need to go by taking the shortcut and not going the long way around, <laughs> thank goodness for that, but yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, sorry if I'm wrapping it up, but I'm trying to do my outro without my camera sh shutting off on me, so yeah. <sighs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, well, I will obviously be continuing with this when I get the chance. Hopefully we'll get onto another episode soon. I mean, an episode of the game, because I'm really curious to see what other stuff this game has in store for us. Because I feel like we've barely touched anything yet. We've, we've barely touched on any of the story yet, but yeah. So interesting how we were on, we were on a World War One battlefield, which I suspected that's what it was, but it just didn't make sense because of how futuristic this game is at the moment, how futuristic the world is. And as to why Mads is there, I'm not really sure. So, yeah, uh, I'm I'm really curious as to what happens when we see him again. I'm I'm sure we're gonna see him again, undoubtedly. I mean, see him again as Sam, and not just in other cutscenes. But yeah, that's it's something. It's rather something. So I think someone told me that maybe we're about halfway through the game. Um, maybe a little more now that I've played it. But um, do let me know how how long we have left not because i'm trying to speed my way through or anything I, I just like to to know how much i have left of a game just because then it lets me know when i can start planning other playthroughs that i need to do so yeah that's just why i'm asking so if you do know roughly how long i have left if i don't do too many side things or anything then do let me know that'll be very useful but yes that is it for this episode and we shall pick up where we left off very soon if you enjoyed this episode nuke that like button and if you haven't already then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one stay rad my friends